the board is Saxons. I'm Izzy Lee. And I'm Nora Jakes. Welcome back to the Saxon Broadcast. Today is Friday, February 16th. There is no school this Monday, February 19th, in honor of Washington's birthday and President's Day. Let's head over to Jonah with sports. Welcome to Saxon Sports. I'm Jonah. Let's get into it. Congratulations to Robert Ronskiewicz and Bomsok Kong for qualifying at regionals last Thursday for the state wrestling tournament this weekend. Girls varsity basketball beat Washington Liberty 32-25 last Thursday in New Yorktown at the district semis 46-35 on Wednesday. Big congratulations to junior Anya Rahman for being named the Liberty District Player of the Year and sophomore Maddie Shamlu for being named the Defensive Player of the Year. The Wrestling State Tournament will be held today and tomorrow at the Virginia Beach Sports Center and the Swim State Tournament will also be held today at the Hampton, Virginia Aquaplex. Girls Varsity Basketball advanced to the District Championship against McLean tonight at home starting at 7 p.m. Come out to support. Now that's all for sports. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Jonah. Join the Langley Orchestra on Tuesday, February 20th at 7 p.m. for their Timeless Classics concert. They will be playing pieces like Winter and Spring from Pizzola's Four Seasons and an arrangement of Dorvox, Trump, Iamphit, New World Symphony. There will be a pre-concert banquet starting at 6 in the Langley Hall before concert featuring rock band, scripture, and free refreshments and snacks. Make a difference in McLean. The McLean Community Center is seeking youth candidates to run for seats on its 2024-2025 governing board. Candidate petition packets are available at the center, which is located at 1234 Ingleside Avenue, and must be completed and returned by 5 p.m. on Monday, March 11th. For detailed information, visit the center's website at mcleancenter.org. The Langley Esports team is looking for people to join their Super Smash Bros. team. Anyone can join regardless of skill level. Tournaments are on Wednesdays after school starting at 4 p.m. There's a Saxon service opportunity during Langley Link's B session today. Sign up with a QR code on the screen to volunteer. You can earn up to one whole service hour of community service by attending. This month, Saxon Stage presents Postmortem, a murder mystery thriller set in the 1920s. When William Gillette invites his Sherlock Holmes castmates to his castle for a relaxing weekend, it all goes wrong when someone tries to murder him. Gillette suspects it's one of his guests and plans to solve the case himself like the Sherlock Holmes. Postmortem is an entirely student-made production and delightful mix of comedy and suspense. Showtimes are Thursday, February 22nd at 6.30 p.m. and Friday, February 23rd at 4, 5 p.m. Scan the QR code on the poster for the ticket link. We hope to see you there. The Winter Dance Langley After Dark will be on next Friday, February 23rd from 8 to 10 in the main gym. Tickets are $10 cash only and are now on sale at all lunches until next Friday. No tickets will be sold at the door. 100% of ticket sales will go to Sheriff McLean. Let's look at a special feature on Rise Against Hunger. Rise Against Hunger also responds to emergencies. Each year, Rise Against Hunger reserves 10% of its projected meals to respond to crisis situations. Some well-known situations where Rise Against Hunger has helped is Hurricane Harvey, Irma, and Dorian. The following is some data you should know. In 2022, they contributed to the serve over 4.4 million people in 38 countries, distributed 67 0.6 million meals, including meals served through school feeding programs to promote education, 31.42 million donated, and 176,600 volunteers. As many of you may know, the quote, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach him how to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. In order to create long-term solutions to hunger and poverty, Rise Against Hunger works for communities through other needs, like giving farmers seeds and planting techniques and teaching them how to diversify their crops. Rise Against Hunger also partners with local organizations to help coordinate where to send the food and resources, as well as granting them money to spend after Rise Against Hunger leaves. They also hold support at-risk classes to increase their earning potential and gain consistent access to food. Even though the major event of Stop Hunger Now for the 2024 school year is over, Ms. Whitrock, a French and physics teacher, said, we can Anybody can go online at any time and make a donation at their website. Even though Ms. Whitrock has only started doing Stop Hunger Now at Langley for the past two years, she had a great idea to implement a strategy that her daughter uses back at Cooper Middle. She said they had a donation box in the library where kids could put their dollar bills in, and I think that would be a fantastic way to encourage giving. 
Even though there wasn't an easy way for Langley to raise money, she overcame this adversity by implementing pizza parties. So out of all of my classes, including my advisory, my students raised $1,182. They're heroes! <laughs> to learn more or donate, go to risingonshunger.org. Thanks, guys. Glad I can learn more. There are no senior birthdays to announce today, but seniors with a birthday for the rest of the year can still fill out a form and include a picture. See the update in the Class of 2024 Schoology. Follow us on Instagram at Saxon Broadcast and our TikTok at Saxon underscore broadcast to see our latest post. If you would like to submit an announcement to be aired on the Saxon Broadcast, use a link in the description and fill out a form. Now that's all for today. Have, Have a great, great day, Saxons! Saxons.